I got Saul out. We're heading your way. We've... left Jack behind. Good job. You think so? You think abandoning the only person capable of winning this war and running away is a good job? Come on, Zoe. We still have the golem. Still got a shot at this. Told I can reach the key master of this channel. I'm one of the disillusioned ones. The architect doesn't know what he's doing. Someone needs to stop him. Make things right. The tower belongs to all of us, not just to the uppers. This is not what our parents signed up for. We're meant to inherit the earth, not rot away in here as the old man's pets. Anyway, I can help make it happen. I've got the gear. How does a three-phase ion converter sound, huh? This baby can stop the GR, take him right out. And I'm speaking from first-hand experience here. So, get back to me if you're looking for trustworthy people. It's time for a prison break, Keymaster.
Look, I apologize. Shouldn't have done it without your knowledge. It's your mind, your body. You will do as you please. But you've got to admit, this is only logical. I want you by my side. Today, tomorrow, in a year, in a century. We can't rely on your methods forever. Our bodies are wearing out. We need something more permanent. Something foolproof. No, it won't be the same at first. But you know full well what the most fundamental driving force of life is. Adaptation. We've got to adapt. I understand your fear. I'm scared myself. But do you think crawling ashore was pleasant or comfortable for our progenitors half a billion years ago? Why would you expect our leap forward to be less of an ordeal? Call me back. Or better yet, just come over. Dharma is more than just your laboratory, you know. So, what do you think? If that doesn't sway her, I don't know what will. All right, then. Send. Keymaster, Operation Precipice will be ready to launch within a week. All the commanders have been briefed, and the base troops will receive their orders on the day of the attack, as to avoid potential leaks. I estimate they will be able to subdue all resistance in six to eight hours. May I add that including Hell Unit in the operation would significantly increase our efficiency. I humbly recommend that you disregard the overly cautious voices, Keymaster. There is no such thing as an overkill when dealing with terrorists, nor such thing as collateral damage when dealing with the basers. Also, I've taken the liberty of drawing up a contingency plan in case we need to speed up the subjugation. I'm sending over air filtering station blueprints along with detailed assault plans. This is Adrian Bakunin, Captain of the Keymaster Guard Warden Corps, Fenrir Division, reporting directly as per the instructions received. Operation Viper's Nest was completed successfully. Target Cybervoid mainframe located in Base Sector 3 was disabled and destroyed by means of explosive charges. No enemy combatants were encountered, but... During the operation, some of the personnel reported auditory and visual implant interference. The affected claimed it had heard the voice of... to have heard the architect. Three of the affected personnel suffered fatal Atma chip malfunction, and a further five suffered major implant malfunction leading to permanent damage. No information regarding the location of any further Cybervoid installations has been recovered, as the Hell unit present was unable to interface with the mainframe. This concludes the report. Yeah, hello? This the Keymaster? Chief Engineer Hodge here. Listen, I ain't got time for red tape bullshit. I've been somehow keeping this bugger running for the last 40 years, but I'm not a fucking magician, you know. Either I get the tritium by tomorrow, or Reactor 3 will go down. For good this time. There's just not enough plasma in the system to jumpstart the cycle again. We don't have anywhere to borrow from either. Seeing as you cunts disabled two for your power grab, and the hikers, or whatever the fuck they're called, took down Reactor 1. So Octopus Lady, unless you think you can run this godforsaken dumpster of a tower on 5 gigawatts, I suggest you send your goons searching for tritium. Stat. Either that, or go shopping for candles and blankets. Cause you're gonna need a whole lot of them. Hello, boss. I just wanted to let you know that you were right after all. The experiment was a mess. I've reassigned most of the subjects to the shifter program and the most damaged ones to the mobile sentry. It was bad. The grafted organs keep overtaking too much of the core body functions. Necrosis was severe in most cases and the scar tissue wouldn't stop growing in the others, not to mention the neurological issues. I don't know if we can do it. The procedure is always going to be damaging. The question is, how many side effects can we live with? How unsettling the end result before it's not worth it? We're trying to save humanity, right, boss? Well, these men didn't look saved to me. You want to record this? For real? What are you going to do with it? 
play it to the boss lady so that she knows I'm on the nice list. Alright, fine, fine. Rules are rules, I guess. <clears throat> My name is uh, Connor Muller. Base level, Sector 5 citizen. ID number uh, 320-857. As of today, registered Keymaster Guard Base Division 5, confidential informant. Jeez, boys. It feels weird. I mean, you've just recruited your best booze and smoke supplier as a secret agent. And what if the Call of Duty kicks in too hard and I report you for buying contraband? Just kidding. Same as usual next Friday. Got your order right here. Better cut that last part, huh? Hi, boss. I did as you asked. Scrubbed her clean. But I gotta say, I don't think this is gonna work. Without the biological brain hooked up, the artificial cortex is going to keep firing. An infinite stream of simulated emotions flooding the system with no way to generate a proper response or regulate the intake. We're basically building anger issues into a killer robot. Best case scenario, she's going to need constant supervision and regular replacements. Worst case, I think you can imagine. Deploying one will be playing with fire. And you said we need what? Twelve? There's no threat great enough to justify such a risk. Is there?